Hey, you guys, uh, unprecedented, I think, is definitely the appropriate description. Certainly, Kwesi and Fume was not intending to give what was basically a victory speech at 10 o'clock tonight. In fact, as campaign folks told me that they were very surprised to see how quickly those unofficial numbers came in, how quickly they were posted, how quickly he was declared a winner. There was what I would consider a very memorable moment from his speech tonight where he talked about his friend, the late Congressman Elijah Cummings, their relationship, and how things have now come full circle. So it's really kind of surreal to think that uh, I've lasted this long on this earth to watch history almost repeat itself. And I know Elijah is probably looking down and smiling because you can't script something like this, nor do you want to even think about it. But it came to pass and it has gotten us to this point. It is really surreal. And so also during that speech, Mfume called the mail-in election today not perfect, but necessary. It is something that we have not seen before here in Maryland and something that definitely made for a very interesting process for voters. Because I can't find my paper ballot, <laughs> so I have to do it in person. Honestly, we were driving by and we remember that today was the day that we needed to make this happen. I didn't get a ballot. People gave several reasons why they decided to vote in person at the Edmondson High School location in southwest Baltimore. I'm 88 years old. But Vivian Castine's story about her trip to the post office was by far the most detailed. I'm standing in line and I look and I have a great big envelope from m and Bank. I have no idea what happened to my ballot. For the first time in state history, the election to fill late Congressman Elijah Cummings' seat was conducted mostly by mail. Seventh district voters in Baltimore City, Baltimore County, and Howard County were encouraged to mail in their votes or drop off at one of the secure boxes. The just three polling locations available to voters operated under strict guidelines. Hand sanitizer offered at the door, every surface wiped down, and mandatory face covering. They was keeping everyone six feet apart and hand sanitizer, it was available. People board had it was a uh, Faces were covered up. It was easy. It was quick, speedy, and um, everyone was uh, extremely nice. They uh, offered hand sanitizer as well as we went in, so they've taken all the necessary precautions. I think it's a very wise and smart decision. I feel that people should stay home as much as they possibly can to help um, as many people as possible to do well and to stay healthy. And while the process is unique now, it's a preview to another big test on a much bigger scale for the mostly by mail primary in June, a reality sparking a bit of anxiety for some voters trying to keep track. There's different elections going on on different dates, the special election and then the regular primary. And it's a, it's a lot to kind of keep track of, especially when we're not out and about and seeing each other and talking about. And so Kwesi Mfume, Mfume said that dealing with this pandemic, helping people through this crisis is first on his list, his first order of business. Uh, tonight he is scheduled, possibly even right now, to be on a call with Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi, Senny Hoyer, and several more of his supporters. Reporting live in Midtown tonight, Kai Reed, WBAL TV 11 News.